Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, this is great. <laughs> Welcome to the MC Variety Hour. My name is Miles. She's still offline for a bit. So we've got Aaron. The drinks with Aaron, I guess. <laughs> 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 Slash MC Aaron. Variety Hour. And apparently he was making daiquiris tonight for some ladies. You know, I tore, man. It was, <laughs> it, was whoo, it was fire. Straight fire. <laughs> Nine like, everything went well. Put a banana in that bitch. Did you really? And, oh, it turned out. Banana daiquiris? Strawberry banana. Oh my goodness. With real fruit? Yes. Oh my and goodness. we had, I got the Mrs. T's too, you know. Oh yeah, I always get the mix, but to add a little bit of fresh fruit to it, the way it, people are like, wow, you made these? I'm like, yeah, I really did. It turned it up. Let me tell you, like, the one girl was allergic to bananas, so, you know, I made sure, like, I asked everybody, like, do you guys mind if I put this banana in it? And the one girl's like, no, I'm allergic. So I was like, all right, we'll give you a red, a regular one. And then we threw the banana and gave it to everybody. They was in heaven. But, and then we played charades. What so kind of charades were you playing? I haven't played charades in years. Neither have I. So this is this is all I did because <laughs> okay, I had to I had to kick the party off. You know what I'm saying? It was my wife's uh, co-worker's party. She was having like a little get together. It's Good Friday. Everybody was off early. I didn't have to work at the martial arts school. Uh, we were over there, and you know how it is. Like when the girls get together, like all the dudes get together, whether they know each other or not, and you yep. just kind of gotta make conversation, which is it's awkward. But who cares? <laughs> I'm I'm a sociable person. Um, after so long of not finding anything I could really relate with, uh, we got to talk about Mike Tyson. I like talking about Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mike Tyson. <laughs> I, yeah, I still do too. He was he was a hero. Like, yeah, yeah he's crazy, but he's still a hero. I played. Um, I played. Uh, oh my gosh, Punch, punch out. out on Nintendo. We talking about, hell yeah, we were talking about Punch Out, but so long. I was like, all right, y'all want to play charades? And they're like, we don't know how to play. We don't know what to do. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I just. I went online and looked for topics, and I had somebody else like, can somebody keep time? And, of course, you know, somebody that doesn't want to play, they're like, yeah, sure, I'll keep time. So I just had them do, like, a minute. You know, you do a minute and see how many you can get through. And I had them come up, and we were just going off the phone. And somebody found some website where you just press the button, and it generates a new word. Choose between easy, medium, or hard. And they even had some for kids. So, like, even the kids came up, played, we let them act out and stuff but yeah that was funny this girl couldn't do dracula to save her life <laughs> come on are you oh, oh my god she was laughing so hard <laughs> i had will i had will smith like how how would you do will smith i got it i got it right but how would you do will smith oh man ah uh, how would i do will smith oh man that's hard you have to charade you have to act it out right you can't say anything you act it out you can't say anything or make any noises Oh man, what would how would I act Will Smith out that people would know? See, I would feel like it would be Fresh Air, Fresh Prince of Bel Air because that's my. I know he's did all kinds of movies and everything, but that's where I first encountered him when I was young. But how would I go about that? <laughs> I did the head spin. Oh no, you didn't. Yes, I did, and <laughs> automatically they already knew what it was. Oh. Man. I was like, would I have to do something for Men in Black? I don't know. Yeah, that's Men in Black would be one. tough. Because yeah. I can't think of anything for Men in Black. Well, so I'm trying, trying to think of all of his roles. Like, what would I do? I Am Legend would be tough. Yes. I love Six, I Am Legend. Six Degrees of Separation. I'm not doing that. Um, uh, the Pursuit of Happiness. How would you do that? Oh, you, I, would, I, would, <laughs> I would grab my son and sit there and cry on the floor. <laughs> Wait, hold your foot on the door. Yes. It's Will Smith. <laughs> how, like, how could you not get that? Yep. Can't ran a little machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you not get that? That hippie robbed him. <laughs> he was like, "Can you watch this?" He's like, "All right." Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> laughing. It's such a sad movie. It's like I feel bad for his wife though, because like I can't really blame her either. At the same time. Like, that's tough. It's tough to stick with somebody, and they've been so many failures. And it's like... And, and, to, keep, and to keep being like, yep, you'll get there. <laughs> that's me, it, honestly. <laughs> I'm lucky that somebody wants to take care of my ass. 
<laughs> you gotta keep telling them jokes. <laughs> and and from, from my gender perspective, fuck me, dick. <laughs> but she's in the left. She left her son, though. That's the only thing I'd be thinking about. Like, man, you left your kid, dude. And you can lead a husband, but don't lead, don't lead a boy. It ain't his fault. But, yeah, he gonna set up to get those machines. She was all for it, wasn't she? Ain't like, sell nothing. He turned into a real success later in life, though. Did he? Yeah, I haven't seen that in, like, 10 years. But it's hard. I don't think he would have did it without going through that struggle. Like, oh. if... I think if his wife would have still been with him, he wouldn't have done it. Because he lost his place and everything, man. Oh, yeah. That that bathroom scene didn't get me. You know, I was like, man, that's I, It got everybody. Yeah. I think that... I like, I, it, you think of that movie, and that's probably the scene that pops into your head first. <laughs> I, I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, did you ever see Seven Pounds? Seven Pounds? Yeah, you got to look for Seven Pounds. What's that? Is, that's not... So, Will Smith movie is uh-huh. I think it's uh, it didn't get a lot of promotion. I don't think you've heard of it. Movie will have you in tears. No. Yeah, Seven it's pounds, everybody. Tough. It was tough, man, because you don't know what's going on. You you can watch you watch like the whole first half. And you don't know what's going on. That another half passes by. You still don't really know what's going on. You gotta watch it and, times. Well, no, around the end you catch it and you just like. Holy shit! Then you just bust out in tears. It's just like, what? so sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> it's so terrifying. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, what's another good Will Smith movie? He's, of course, he's, Bad Boys. Oh, <laughs> you gotta fire your gun into the sky. Really? Wild, sad. wild west. Wild, wild west. Oh my gosh, he has to be embarrassed for that one. Didn't he do the music for that too? Hell yeah, but that was fun. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was, uh, what else did he do? I, was a, I was in, like, elementary school when that came out. That was fun. He was a superhero. What was it, Manhattan? Han- Hancock. Hancock. That movie was funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, Hancock. He was an angel. Yes, that's what it was. I haven't seen... I just kind of lost touch with Will Smith. I forgot how much I loved him. He's just funny, and he's ageless, too. My God. He's starting yeah, to age that- a little bit now. He's getting some gray hair, but... Now he's dropping gems on freaking... Instagram and everything. Is he? Yeah, you see that that uh, who's the ra- uh, the singer August Elsina? Oh. And, and how he said he he had well, everybody thought that he had slept with Jada Pinkett. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, they were there was rumors that they were gonna get divorced there for a little bit. That they were both having affairs. I can't remember who they said he was messing with, but um, I, I've seen all. That. But I think they open. They probably yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was thinking that, that they have an open marriage and then they got caught. <laughs> Y'all got caught having an open marriage. Right. Hey, I know a thruple. I, I have known this girl forever and she's been married to a guy I worked with. And I kept noticing that this other guy kept popping up in photos and he lives with them. And at first I thought he was just a roommate. And then, you know how things just kind of slowly dawn on you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm like, this is a little weird. I'm never, I'm always seeing her. So finally... I just asked her and she was like, she sent me a picture of all three of them and she's like, this is my husband and this is my boyfriend. And I just, and still, like, I fall asleep every night. Like, how does that work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ask her. Ask her. I, I, I know, but I don't want to be too nosy, you know? Nope. I'm, I just, it's killing me. I'm like, you gotta, that's such a, oh, stop being so nosy. How close <laughs> are you with her? Lives. <laughs> how close are you with her? I, well, that's the thing is, is we're like acquaintances, I guess. We're, we don't really hang out. We've worked together years and years ago. I mean, I, I felt comfortable enough to ask her if she was a thruple, but it didn't, I wasn't, I didn't follow it up with, well, so how does that work? You know, but I probably could. I probably could be like, so tell me more about that. <laughs> because I'll see you know, all go out to eat together. Or she'll go out and do something with her boyfriend, and she'll go do something with her husband. But you never see the boyfriend and the husband in pictures together, doing stuff together. <laughs> it's always her with the boyfriend, oh. her with the husband, or all three of them. He's like, oh, it's your turn tonight. Right. And, Is she and, hot? No. that's the, They both got neck beards. You know, I. that's what's whoa, whoa, weird. Whoa. Like, the girl? No, her boyfriend and her husband are just like... Like stereotypical uh, white dudes that might live in their basement. 
You know what I mean, gamers. They're, they're like the neck beard, the messiness, and the greasiness. I'm just like, how? See? <laughs> I, I'm so glad you're on camera. Cause you don't say nothing, but I can see your face. <laughs> I just. <laughs> That's what's weird. I guess that's what keeps me up is these ugly people just bumping into each other having a throw. Hey, nobody else is banging them. That's right. You know what? And but then yeah, like, but they're happy and they're doing whatever, and it doesn't bother anybody. But to me, it's just I guess it's fascinating. As well. I'm just fascinated fasc- yeah, by that. That shit fascinated me too. You like, know, just, fasc- like people jealousy or anger or you know they got kids too. I don't yeah, I, it, yeah, I, I be wanting to be nosy too. I do be want to be nosy because people out there living their best life. <laughs> That's uh, what it is. Tell me more about that. You know, <laughs> people out there living their best life. I swear, they just enjoying time, and it's like, hey, they cool with it. Or maybe they not, and it's like I guess that's what I want to know. Like, are you completely happy with it? Is is this what you into, or? That's what I want could, to talk to each of them individually, <laughs> then as a group. <laughs> and some people be letting other people like rail they they woman or vice versa, and I'm like, watch. That's a valid question. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is that turn them off? Is that live action porn? <laughs> I just, because. Her and her husband lived in a house for the longest, like, 10 years. They've been married for, I don't know, probably, they've been together going on 20 years, I'd say. Um, and they lived in a house, and they've got three kids. And then this guy moved in, and I just slowly noticed, like, oh, that's strange. And I think they're they're gamers, online gamers, so I think they met him online, or she did. And so he moved from way out west to here, you know, to this area. So he moved from wherever he was to live with them. <laughs> I mean, that's a gamble. <laughs> Let's just have this. You ever watch, uh, you ever <laughs> watch, uh, Spartacus? Yes, of course. Yeah, Spartacus was my damn show. Remember how they used to just make their slaves bang? Like, <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all just go <laughs> at it right quick. now. <laughs> just real quick, I want something to watch. They didn't have TV, here. No, they were, <laughs> I, I know. That's that's what I think about all the time. Like you had to sit there and like make your slaves just go at it, and everybody at the party would be watching. Like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Throwing <laughs> coins. <laughs> Not only like that, but like as a slave, did you want to be a top performer? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is my old face and practice on. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just think if they're like, oh, I don't want to do this, like, uh, you again. <laughs> then you got, you got to see them while you're cleaning up bathrooms or something, like, yeah, what about last night? Yeah. <laughs> I just would prefer not to think about your dick in my face. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so awkward. Nobody washed either. That was the terrible <laughs> oh, part. Eric, you think about some weird shit, I love it. <laughs> I can't help it. This is that... This is the comedian. Like this is this is what comedy is about. Over analyzing shit, talking about it. <laughs> you ever watch Boardwalk Empire? Oh uh, yes, I did. I watched the whole series. Oh, you are my kind of person. <laughs> Do you remember when they were watching that porn and they had to hire the dude to crank the the machine? <laughs> yeah. That was his job. While everybody's watching porn, he got to crank the machine <laughs> so they can watch it. Imagine him at the bar after a hard day's work. Like his right, he can't use his right arm. It's sore. It's like rough day. Cranking what was you doing? Like... Rubbing one out? No, I was cranking it while they were rubbing one out. <laughs> My arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be cranking no camera while people are jacking off. That sounds awful. So it's a, it's a it's not much, but it's honest work. <laughs> so, you know what they say? Someone's got to do it. <laughs> oh, Your wife is like, how is work? <laughs> oh, what if you get splashed on? <laughs> do you care? <carry> <laughs> Them was, yeah, them was gangsters, man. So you better not make no complaint. <laughs> it was all straight gangst- prohibition gangsters. <laughs> you got splashed on, you think so. Thanks, sir. All right. 
<laughs> Please, sir, may I have another? I'm, I'm very happy to do one. <laughs> okay. Alright. I know we have some topics, but... <laughs> we have some topics. I think we do. My Let me see. Well, we, we put some in the chat. No, we did. We did. You're right. Let's see. Let's go back. Let me go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. This is cool because it's real chill. That was Blue's Clues. Sorry. I'll tell you another thing. We talk about watching people and stuff like that. Oh, what about... Watcher. Yeah, I'm a people watcher. <laughs> what about these pay... These uh, uh premium Snapchats? I, I just... Those just caught my attention last week. I was like, premium Snapchat? What is that? Oh, yeah. That's, it's been going on for a while. People making money... Are you talking about... Are, is it because of that girl who was crying because her Instagram got deleted or whatever and she was like i can't work no nine to five like the rest of y'all oh no you can't be doing you can't be doing porn and doing that no it doesn't work ugly crying into youtube because her instagram got deleted and it was her livelihood she was like i can't work normal jobs like everybody else oh i think i know what you're talking about oh yeah you know whatever she'll be fine she probably went she went viral off of that so yeah so she's gonna get talk are you yes. gonna make a premium Snapchat? Is that what you're saying? Nah, I don't have enough content. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have enough content. Plus, I'm not about to be showing myself out there like that. I'm a, I teach <laughs> martial arts to kids. <laughs> you go to every day. Yeah, it can't be <laughs> like, <even> dirty. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Such and Such. We saw your wee wee. Like, I can't hear nothing like that. That's right. the. Not to mention, like, I think my grandmaster would probably try to fight me if I, he found out I was doing something like that. I, I just, the internet is kind of forever, you know? <laughs> like, it's the know. hustle. I, I respect the hustle. I do, too. I know, I like, actually know a lot of people who do questionable things for money on camera, but they make a good living at it, and I'm like, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, uh, you still got to report your taxes to the, to the government. Like, you this. still got to pay your taxes. We gotta pay your taxes. That's what a lot of people are getting busted on. Um, a lot of the that's why they got sites out like Camster and uh, oh man, what's the other ones? Uh, fans only. Fans only is the big one. I think I've heard about that site. Fans only is huge and it's cool because it's giving porn stars like they're done doing a lot of industry porn and they just just do that. You know, they already got their fame. So that's like cutting out the pimp. Basically. Absolutely. <laughs> have you? Do you Absolutely. have uh, HBO? No. Oh, so there's a series on HBO called The Deuce, and it's about like prostitution in the late '70s, early '80s in New York City. And it's Ooh, just, that's gotta be good. And it is because it focuses a lot on the pimps, and it actually talk. It's right when porn became big, you know, and how it kind of took power away from the pimps because those those hookers were starting to get into films and not wanting to do prostitution so much and so it's a really good it was movie. it was safer <laughs> that that's their livelihood though like, pimps don't you know what I'm that shit. My money nah but see they just moved to a different pimp yep. that's, that's all, all it was. that's all that was like i was looking at the story of like tara patrick yes. and how she, how she was doing things and she opened up her own she was already like a model and she was already like she was in the, the the industry as far as like facial recognitions and shots and stuff like that. So she already knew people and had connections. So when she started doing her own shit, she opened up her own production, her own everything. So like the first couple of videos she shot like blew up. So they just kept taking their money and investing it. And so she was doing it herself. She was making most of her own money. Right. And that's like I, I like Lisa Ann and all the rest of them. They. They hustle and they get their own money, and that's the big I, thing I really like. That me too. I don't have a problem with anybody doing uh, selling, as long as it's with their permission. You know, I don't have a problem with people with prostitution or premium Snapchats. If that's what you want to do, sex is the oldest profession or trade in the world. Can't sure is. Out, you know, and if people want to engage in that, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because that's people want it. <laughs> They really yeah, do. but now they're getting their own money, and I'm just so happy they're empowered to get their own money. Right. Fuck them people. There's a lot of female pimps back in the day, too. Yeah, well, they call them madams, but yeah, they ran little houses. Well, not necessarily, because some of the madams still worked under, like, a male pimp. Really? And, you know, I didn't know yeah. that at all. You gotta, have a, you gotta have a bottom bitch, which is your <laughs> one that... 
hose everything down. Right. Like, and some of them were madams. And then, you know, you would have straight women who were running houses and stuff like that. Like, that was that was a big thing. But you had to have a woman who made sure the women were taken care of. Because oh, the dude didn't do that. Yeah, the dude oh, didn't I, do that, all that. I did. They kind of depict that in the deuce where they have, like, sex parlors and they have, like, a, a head... Mm-hmm. I guess or whatever but you know there's uh, I like some of the older shows what was one of them that I was watching and the head mother paid money to the guy that ran the town or whatever but she would pay to have a doctor come in and look at her girls every like month he'd come in for a monthly visit or whatever and come take care of their syphilis or whatnot. So, yep I, suppose, I never thought about that For I just sure. assumed that, that she ran the house you know some of them did you know, some there were there were women that there were women pimps and women madams, like holding yeah. it down. It was just protection. Protection was the biggest thing. It's so that's why a lot of place. dudes were doing it because it was always some dude that might snatch you up or or beat you or smack you up or something like that. So that's what the pimp was for. He had kind of na- fear. You know, you don't want to see pretty Ricky or something like that, and he'd come out with his shotgun. And here's another thing about the pimp: uh, a lot of the pimps were gay. That's that's a really uh, so they wouldn't yeah, touch your yeah. own product because you never mess with your own product. It wasn't even that. It was just if the hoes don't make the money, guess who got to make the money? Oh really? Yeah. Well, you sure do know a whole lot about this, Aaron. Did you write a, Be- a essay or a, a thesis, maybe? Nah, this is just living around them old OGs and stuff like that. You know, they they were telling like people back then they had jobs. So if you was a jack boy or a thief or whatnot, you was a thief. If you was a pimp, you was a pimp. If you was, you know, if you was a regular working machine working man, you was a regular working machine working man. They all met at the bar. They all knew each other. They all grew up in school together. Right. So it's like if you wanted a girl, you, you go holler at the pimp like, hey, I need somebody for the night. Boom, we go do that. Because they all had to deal with the police. So the police would be like, hey, if you want to keep these hoes on the street, this is how you got to do it. Yada yada yada. You know you had your mobs. You just had a lot of groups. Cause you know I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, man, and it's the, the OGs would tell you all these stories, like they still living in that day. <laughs> <laughs> they, they know, ain't really went nowhere. <laughs> they're like, you know what? Back in the day was good. So what do they do now then? If they can't, they don't. They're not pimping anymore. Or what? What have all those people that did that back then? What are they doing now? Everything had to change. I mean, I, I suppose some of them are probably retired, so that's a non-issue, but... That's a good question. What are they doing now? You know, like, what... A lot of them went on drugs. A lot of them went on drugs. Crack epidemic... The crack epidemic... That's right. Destroyed all a lot of that. Now, the 1990s came up right after. That, so that does make sense. That falls right in the timeline. You had the young kids with, you know, gangsters and stuff like that, and they... They didn't care about the old heads. No. They, uh... It's one of those things where it's like you grow up, you be shunned, or, or you got these people running the streets and they want to never give up power to some young dude or at least school them. So right. they just got it taken from them. Like, I'll run this block now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, then what is old head going to do? He don't know nothing else but these streets. So most of them got on crack, dead, or, you know, heroin was still hitting in the hood at the time. Well, heroin, a lot of people don't realize that heroin has been around and been a problem for a very long time in the United States. Very, very long time. And a lot of people, it's just now because of the opiate, it's affected enough people where people are paying attention. Heroin has been an issue for a very long time. I mean, you can look back even in the 90s and people, famous people were overdosing on it. It's not mm-hmm. a new thing, it's just more widespread now. But Well, now it's got synthetic and it's killing people faster. Yes. That's, it, that's the big thing, the deaths are high. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I've been to a couple funerals. Yeah. I mean, it's... Classmates gone. Yeah, a whole generation just wiped... Between the war in Iraq and the heroin epidemic, my generation, or people who are from, like, 25 to 35, maybe, I don't know, uh, they've just died off. You know, between the two, they're maimed or whatever. Like, it's a... It angers me. There's... You know, I was reading that because Ohio is one of the higher... um, states that have a opiate and heroin problem that yeah, they just have people stored in cold lockers like they rent huge cold storage lockers to put bodies in because they just can't keep up and i notice in the news now like 
The county that Miles lives in has a, where they prosecute people um, for giving drugs to another person, like uh, involuntary manslaughter. People are getting, they do inv involuntary manslaughter for anybody who gave another person drugs and they died. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's about right. So about a year after that, after they started enforcing that, there have been bodies being found all over that county, like three or four since January, I think, a um, couple last summer, but there's some being found along I-75. Like, there's bodies just coming up all the time now, and I can't help but think that that's directly related to people being prosecuted for involuntary manslaughter. Like, nope, fuck you, I'm driving you off in a ditch. I couldn't just, uh, I mean, Ohio's, we up there, we like, we definitely top three. Yeah, um, I know that for sure. Cause we did a big series on it in the when we first started a podcast. Um, and uh, there's somebody in my life that was addicted, and it really affected. It, it had a big impact on my life. I wasn't personally addicted, but somebody very close to me was. Um, and then I have friends who have passed on. And then the person that's very close to me um, watched a lot of his friends die, too. And these kids are in their early 20s. You know, so that person in my life has seen more death than I have, and I'm 15 years older than him. You know, I, that's just yeah, my, me. People are just now starting to pass on that I went to school with. I'm 30. I'll be 38 next month, and you know, just from like now, like a car accident. Wait, or a couple when? Of when? What? One day. May 26. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm you're a Gemini. Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Woo -woo, I've got two personalities. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I keep running into y'all though. This is this is cool. I fuck with Gemini, so I just I just be wanting people to be a tourist. When they say May, I'm like, ooh, a tourist. Oh. Nope, you gotta get. Gotta, I, I know. I always do that too. I'm like, what's your birthday? Because I know the cutoff too. It's very. Uh, my brother is actually a Gemini too, because he's his birthday is two weeks after mine. So we're both Gemini's. But he's like the opposite. He's not like me at all. I I embody a Gemini. I think I'm a social butterfly. Yeah, but they all not social butterflies. Some of them are introverted, uh, intro introverted, like artists. See, but I can be like that too. That's the thing about a Gemini is I call them the twins because I have a wild side that's untamed, and then I also have like a uh, an the, introvert. The chill. I yeah, I don't really like you know. I'm like sometimes I'm just I'm cool with staying home and not talking to people. Like I'm good, I'm good. Just pay, you never know what Julia. It's that's literally people say like, you don't. You never know what Julia you're gonna get for the day. What, um, how is, how is your brother? What art does he deal with? Uh, he does stage, stage glass. There it is. Yeah, he does, uh, he just started doing it about two years ago. He does some really nice pieces, actually. Every uh, Gemini, every Gemini does some form of art. I do all kinds of art. I can't decide on anything. So. It doesn't matter. You're doing something, oh, though. There's a craft. Like, I can always get any Gemini I make, there's a craft. <laughs> I Somewhere. started with sewing, crocheting. Right now I'm doing little tiny bottles. I'm doing like these bottles are two inches. They're not even two inches tall. And I fill them with like ocean in a bottle or galaxy in a bottle. And yeah, I like to really get into crafting. Um, I do I do pen art, like those little tiny itty bitty micro pens. I do drawings. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But I, yeah, I got a huge craft room. I can't ever finish a project. And I'm into, like, so I, things. I, today I was talking about the Zodiac and I... <laughs> Yeah, I try not to talk things like this with everybody because I don't be tired. I be tired of hearing about the jokes. And uh, each sign has a part of the body that they rule, right? And each part of the body they rule, they're either very good at or they have serious problems in. So for Gemini, it's the arms and the hands. So a lot of them are artists. They draw, they play instruments, um, they box. What's the they Taurus? Fight. Taurus is the neck and the ears. Oh yeah, are you a good listener? <laughs> I can be. I really can be. But I, I listen to a ton of music. I listen to lectures. I listen to speeches. You oh, know, do movies. You have a good eye for me, for me, or a good ear. I said a good eye. I'm totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear so much with these eyes. Um, do you have a good ear for music, like timing and like a natural yeah. affinity for rhythm, maybe? All that. All that. It's embedded. See, I've I been. Cannot. Yeah. I, I've been starting to make beats again. I'm I'm trying to get back in there. Oh yeah. Back in yeah, I just gotta get a good program, but they gave me this free magics program and it's it's alright. But I need I some need some better. Because you have so many different interests and things that you do. Well I'm close. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's well, kinda get, like, you yeah, still get little, some of those energies. Yeah, I like to you know, you could be a little bit mixed. 
yeah, you, get, you get a sprinkle, you know, a little sprinkle you here. A little Gemini, you get a little sprinkle. A little touch. Sorry, right. it makes me cooler. I know, so I'm like, you have to have a little bit of everything, don't you? You gotta stay busy and keep that mind free. Yeah, a lot of Tauruses, man, they heavy. <laughs> they some... I, I, I ain't knocking Tauruses because I love them, but yeah, a lot of them are he- either heavy or like really muscular. Like there's no, there's really no in between. Like, <laughs> right. Exactly. The comfort is the the key. I need a pillow when I'm watching TV. I'm not gonna go get one. But look at look at cows and bulls. Like they ain't running around charging everybody every five seconds. For the most part, they be out there grazing, chilling. I love cows. Yeah, they're they're real chill, ain't they? Have you ever have you ever really met a cow? They're like dogs. Mm-hmm. Like they get excited to see you. Like they'll jump up and, and they're just like super happy. They're they're just like dogs. I felt so bad when I met a cow. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I've been eating yeah. <laughs> we steal all kind of shit from you. We eat you. We use you up. Like the you notice how in like some places the cow is sacred. Over here we like use every bit of it. Yeah, we're like yeah, we use it all. We want your milk. <laughs> we're gonna do all kind of stuff with your milk. Then we're gonna use all so kind of stuff with your, with your body. <laughs> we're gonna take your skin, <laughs> make <laughs> bootstraps, <laughs> make bootstraps and stuff with it. And then we're gonna take your hooves and make glue with it. And we're gonna make we're gonna make jello out of your bones. Yeah, that's and and, <laughs> and gummy bears and stuff. Gelatin is made out of animal bones. Blew my mind. I, it, Straight it, it, through my mind and collagen too. Yeah, they tell you if you have like bad joints or whatever that you should eat Jello because of the that. <laughs> I, I still love Jello though, but I'm like this is so gross. <laughs> it's in um, <laughs> it's in cornbread too. No, not cornbread. No, 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 no. That's the lard. <laughs> that's the fat. <laughs> they use like uh, pig fat in uh, Jiffy. Yeah, that was you know I, I grew up around a lot of Muslims, so they they um uh, them black know, Muslims. Huh? Yeah, they course they keep they won't shut up about it. No, you I know there's pork in that, brother. <laughs> Kool Aid, Kool Aid got pork in it too. Like yeah, they use that they use the pig bones in there. They been they keep feeding you that pig. Yeah, but they feed the shit out of it to people. Every every drop of it, they feed the hell out of it to people, man. I grew up eating chitlins, so it's like I don't eat pork now. I haven't eaten pork since I was nineteen. I'm thirty two. Nope. Oh my gosh. Gave it all up. Cause I really, that's about the only thing I'll still eat is bacon. We really don't eat much other pork. Yeah, like a lot of pork chops. Ham, ham was my that was my shit. I love ham. Ham was, ham was God to me. But uh, eat it all or just not pork? I eat meat, and you know I try not to eat beef. Yeah. But if I don't eat a lot of meat, I really will wither away. And I'm already skinny as it is, and I'd be burning way too many calories, and I can't be eating all that bread and shit. So I gotta like get some kind of meat in my body. Yeah, I, I burn too many calories. I work way too much. I do too much shit to. Not like I don't want to eat beans at all damn day. So I know, but they're such a good source of protein. What about nuts? I love nuts. I love nuts too. <laughs> it's like, that's a dumb joke, I'm sorry. No, that's <laughs> I do a really great love joke. Nuts, but <laughs> it's like I love cashews and stuff like that. I just <gasps> find they say they say cashews is not a nut. This this lady was telling me the other day and I didn't look it up yet. She said cashews grow on the bottom of an apple. Yes they do. Yes they do. They grow so on that, the bottom and they they're poisonous. And the fact to, that you cook them or whatever, that it releases that or whatever. And they're also super fatty. They're the worst nut. It's like for a handful of them or whatever, it's like 26 grams of fat. They're super yeah, how, yeah, they're how come really I haven't gained, I haven't gained a damn thing? Yeah, they do. They, if you look up a cashew, a lot of the pictures, it's an apple hanging from a tree, and then there's a little cashew hanging off of it. It's just a turd. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a turd. It's an apple it's turd. A, it's a freaking it's apple turd. <laughs> the apple droppings. <laughs> it's just apple droppings that you're eating and loving. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was blown away when someone told me that too. I was like, no way, nah. And then I thought about all the cashew that I ate. I'm like, that's a lot of apples. 
We're are we in an abundance here. That's what I'm. That's what I'd be thinking. Like, who got the trees for that? Who's out there picking each little dingleberry off of the apples? That's what I was. The word I was looking for was dingleberry. <laughs> Who's picking them up? <laughs> okay, what are nuts? Let's start our own cashew roast beef company, and you know what we'll call it? <laughs> Apple dingleberries. <laughs> That ain't a cashew, man. That's an apple dingleberry. Get it right. <laughs> okay, let's see. It says, A nut is a fruit comprised of an edible hard shell and a seed, which is generally edible. In general usage, the wide variety of dried seed nuts are... Um, the, vi- the wide variety of dried seeds are called nuts, but in a botanical context, nut implies the shell does not open to release the seed. So, <laughs> that's a very detailed so, explanation that's google for you <laughs> so almonds and walnuts are technically seeds really? peanuts are a legume so a peanut is a bean oh. while hazelnuts are considered a true botanical nut so you really are eating nuts unless it's a hazelnut see that's some information you can just annoy people with <laughs> <laughs> That's all that is. You know it's not really a nut, right? You know, it's actually you're not a, bean. a nut, right? <laughs> That's actually your a pe- seed. Look it up, brother. Get, get woke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can find some more information on nuts. Most you. of what we consider nuts of culinary purpose share the same characteristics. Oily, tender flesh surrounded by a hard outer shell. Nuts tend to be energy dense and provide a variety of vitamins and minerals. But I want to know, like, what's a what's an actual freaking nut? Like, purchasing nuts. <laughs> this, thing, this thing has a whole detailed guide on. Well, what about an acorn? Is an acorn a nut? Do we eat acorns? Do you eat acorns? They come off. No, I've never ate an acorn. That's what I was wondering. Squirrels oh. eat them, but do humans eat them? I don't, I don't know anybody that's like, <laughs> grab yourself a handful of roasted acorns, buddy. <laughs> I've never been offered some weird stuff, but never, I just, never I just don't want somebody to be like, <laughs> like, like bruh, you, you ain't never had an acorn? Oh, man. You're missing out. Hold on. Crunch it says two ways to make cold leech acorn flour. Oh, okay. You flour with it. I'm going to put that underneath my a case of apocalypse file. Uh, <laughs> Mac- Mac- Macadamia is a nut. That's a nut. But that's in the name, Macadamia Nut. I know, yeah. but Peanut is <laughs> the name too, and that's just a bean. <laughs> <laughs> so peanut is just a bean. But I think it makes sense though, because I'm pretty sure our peanuts dug up. What about redskins? Hmm. What about a pecan? Is a pecan in that? Pecans come in a shell, don't they? Oh, you know what? I don't know. Where do pecans come from? Nuts versus droops. What's the difference? A true nut, botanically speaking, is a hard-shelled pod that contains both the fruit and the seed of the plant, where the fruit does not open to release the seed to the world. Chestnuts, hazelnuts, and acorns... So yes, acorn is a nut. Nuts that aren't actually nuts. Business insiders got the lowdown on it. Uh, yeah, this okay. Pistachios is number one. Hazelnuts. Oh, I put cashews on here. So this one is wrong. They they didn't look up the right information. No, they just wrote it from the heart. <laughs> 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 a walnut is technically an English walnut. Hmm. Pinky oh. out. You gotta have your pinky out when you eat that one. <laughs> That's right, with my teeth. A peanut. You know what an alternative name for a peanut is? No, what is it? A goober. A goober. Yeah, that sounds like something I would call somebody in third grade. Yeah, we did call people that in third grade. You're a goober. You're a goober. <laughs> You're such a goober. 
Don't even know what it means now. It's... <laughs> My world has been changed. That's what it Why is? People tell you don't eat fruit, you be like, I eat all kinds of fruit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just got done eating some apple uh, dingleberries the <laughs> dingleberry. other day. You don't even know. Apple I'm well cultured. You can start a whole thing where people are like, what are apple dingleberries? They're Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> You mean cashews, man? <laughs> I nice. want to make a cashew ice cream. That would be good, because they just got that little bit of to them. I love cashews. I always have a bag of them. I'm not kidding. They're addictive. That's not right. And they're so expensive. That's not fair. I like the honey roasted ones from Planners. Sometimes you can only afford the, the little can of ends and pieces. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> you're like a buck fifty nine still, and you're like, yeah. I'll still eat them though. <laughs> I only got this ten dollars, and I gotta get gas. <laughs> get this little can of cashews, ends in pieces. I don't care. I Man, don't all these, all these got y'all got all these around yes. y'all. Yeah, all these got some cheap cashews. I don't know if you have a save a lot, but they got good cashews. They're like, I don't like ones that are coated. Got one, the one, one like a lot, little bit up. They're like raw. There's nothing on them. They're just nothing but cashews, what I call them. Naked cashews. They ain't got no salt on them or nothing? Nah, well, yeah, they're salted, but they don't have... They're like soft almost. I like soft cashews. I really don't like ones with a big crunch to them. I like when you bite them and it's like air. You know, it's like they're fluffy. You're just like... Arr. But it's like, would you consider that fiber? Because it just... I know when I ate a bunch of cashews. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I try to chew them up. I try to chew them up real good. <laughs> you can still see them. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I've had enough cashews that I know I need to chew them up more. <laughs> Maybe I need to use my blender. <laughs> I don't Maybe. want any chunks. <laughs> it's a corn situation. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be heavy too. It'd be one of those like. You know, I don't know. I got problems like not using the bathroom when I'm supposed to use the bathroom, and I and I ch- I chance it a lot, and I really Me need to. Work on it. I'd be like, I think I can get home, and then use the bathroom at home, and uh, I usually get caught like it. traffic jam or something. Uh, yep. And if I ate a bunch of cashews, it's the worst because it feels so much heavier. Yep. <laughs> Just like oh. I feel like this is gonna be a turtle situation here <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Today's the day I proved myself. <laughs> You're on I'm a winning re- streak. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Why am I pooping myself? <laughs> the older you get, you have new lows that only you know about. <laughs> oh, there was one time I was in the... Um, let me see if this still shows up. I was in the... Uh, um. I was in the car and I was in the middle of the, you know, driving home and stuff. And I couldn't clench enough, so I kept like standing up in my seat and stuff like that. And I know people were looking at me and I'm just... <laughs> I gotta clench this off, boys. <laughs> couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't do it. I was just like, I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna poop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll be the kind that just rolls out your pant leg. <laughs> it'll be a clean break. <laughs> do I have a either way? Yeah, do I have enough for more underwear? <laughs> like, oh, the troubles and struggles. Okay, let me get into one of these topics, though. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, because we can talk about poop jokes all day. <laughs> poop is very serious. Poop is very serious. Um, so, I'm going to Cancun in August for a wedding, destination wedding. I'm the best man in my dude's wedding. Oh, and, uh, I didn't. I mean, I don't feel like it is. For a destination wedding, you're gonna have. To. Yeah, I gotta come up with some ends. But that's besides the point. I just want to make sure I'm the best, best man for this man, because he's only gonna do. I think, in my opinion, I think he's only gonna do this once. He's one of them people. He's getting married for life, huh? I think he is. Some I think need this is the woman. I mean, I, I just feel like you know, it, for men. To get married, to want to get married, what they say, this is, don't take no offense to this, they would say, uh, oh, men, men marry who they want, women marry who they can. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard that before? 
No, but it makes sense. I think I've heard like a variation of Well, that. they women women say uh women fuck who they want, men fuck who they can. Yeah. And it's men marry who they want, women marry who they can't. I don't know. It just seems no, to be that, that way in general, right? Mm-hmm. And usually men really are like I'm going to settle down with the woman who like really adds a lot of value and changes my life like this one can really bring value and i think she's one of those type of women man she brings a lot of value to his life shows him things he never saw before and that's kind of you know everybody wants those type of experiences makes him a better uh, person absolutely you like you you change me in positive ways and men enjoy that just as much as the next person does I don't know, some women don't understand that, but I just think that's a good message that we should be trying to get get across to them. Not changing them, not changing them on who they want to be, just giving them experiences so that they are able to wake up and change on their own. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I think she's one of those type of girls. And, um, are you real he, close with her? Not really, I just kind of met her. How long have they been together? They've been together like four years now four or five years i want to say they got a kid and they're going to cancun for a wedding yep well they travel all over they both work for tsa oh okay so that's you know that's where they met so oh that's neat all, yeah all they do is travel and go kick it in different countries and do stuff like that and that's why he's like you know aaron you need to be getting a passport you need to be seeing other parts of the world man once you once you get once you see this type of life you ain't gonna want to go back, and uh, that's why I'm that. you picking up all that microphone. It, it sounds like a. Uh, I wonder if that's me though. No, that's probably me. Here, I'm gonna hold it. it I'm gonna turn it down. It could just be more. Your sensitive. computer hot? It's probably hot. It's probably roasting. It could be. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. I turn my microphone down just a little bit. It's such a sweet talk. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Drop it down. Yeah. Yeah, men be losing it when women talk all comfortable and shit to them. <laughs> That's my customer <laughs> service voice when I used to do, I used to answer the phone like, Hey, this is Julia, how can I help you? Because <laughs> that would be nothing but yes, my call in. Yeah, this is about to sound good. I want to, please tell me more. Yeah, I'd have to read the instruction <laughs> manual to him. Like, all right, Bill. I don't have the instruction manual. I was just wondering if you could read me figure 1.2. <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> Absolutely, Bill. First of all, you're going to want to get those hex screws out because it's time to drill it in, buddy. <laughs> That's what you used to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? you got to have fun in your job. You absolutely do. Even when it's just terrible and awful, you got to find fun in it somehow. So they're getting ready to stop letting me get on the microphone like at the store because I work at a store because I keep getting on there and, you know, doing like smooth jazz voices and and uh, I know. <laughs> telling telling people it's their birthday, like, oh, I wish him a happy birthday. Aaron, <laughs> you, know, you can't be doing that. And it's like, all right, I won't do it again, and I just go do it again. <laughs> Good, screw that. They, nobody else is on the the line. We got to hear the same five songs over and over and over. Isn't that a small hell of its own? I it is I so bad. At a- a diner Denny's actually it was a I worked third shift and they had Muzak and it was on a loop and so I, I could even tell what time it was by what song was playing like 555 I got you babe dun, 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 you're all alone in a diner at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> white bitch. listen to this hey I was at the Waffle House yeah same thing and the worst part about the Waffle House is they had old songs that were remixed waffle style oh i worked at the waffle house brother like remember big john you know that song big john why did everyone yeah, it, have to come in and want to play the waffle house songs that's what i found upsetting like they i'm going back back to, to you house the waffle house i'm going back like play that song and i'll throw this waffle at them little paper hats or oh i had garf and the little i had the visor no See, I worked there back in like 1999. Mm-hmm. <laughs> had like the little striped shirts and the little handkerchiefs and the little head scarf. I worked at one in Georgia. Did you really? Yeah. Gone. It was rough. It was rough. Oh my gosh, that place was rough. Did we talk about this on the last episode? We talked about working at a Waffle House because we both had worked at a Waffle House, but I don't know that you 
I saw a car on fire. I was in Riverdale. Riverdale is like, uh, it's like a small suburb outside of Cleveland, like Maple Heights. Like it was nice at one time, and then it became the hood. That's where Ti is from, Riverdale. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from Riverdale. Maybe I. Yeah, he went to like Riverdale High School, and he hung out on Simpson Road and stuff like that, Bankhead. Um, which is the west side of Atlanta. But anyway, so he be, I was out there and they was like, we really need somebody to work here a couple nights, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, fine, whatever, I'll do it. And uh, they paid a taxi to get me there to work it. And I, that's how desperate they was. And I got in there and I met the one lady. I was like, how you doing? Yada, yada. You enjoy working here? She's like, man, we just got robbed last week. And the week before that, and they just keep coming in here, and I just give them the money. I don't care. <laughs> and I'm like, that's really helping me want to stay here. And then no more than 30 minutes later, a car is on fire in the middle of the street. Like, I'm like, I am in some post-apocalyptic area. <laughs> they had to get out of there. I worked third shift at Waffle House. It was in a... Uh, so it was very trashy and uh it's very interesting things happened i saw a high speed chase end one time uh right in the parking lot guy had to stop because it was t- i was standing taking somebody's order and you know how the waffle house is all windows so i'm watching <laughs> this guy come down the interstate and around the curve and i'm watching the cops chase him because it's like a long windy drive to get there to the waffle house or no this was at denny's and as he pulls up, I'm trying to take this guy's order, and I see this car just stop, like, right in front of the window that I'm at, and his tire pops off and rolls. <laughs> so the guy hops out of the driver's side and just takes off running, and he's right. get out and start running after him. I'm still standing at this table. The I'm like, go, like, go, 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 go. <laughs> You're right. The whole thing's like, go, come on, buddy, do it. Get across that ditch. <laughs> he made it a good 500 feet or so before they tackled him. It was just standing there with my little order pad in my hand like, this shit can't get any weirder. I'd be cheering. Oh, it can. It, 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 it can. I, I oh, we had some cross-dressers come in, right? And it's like, I ain't got no problem with you, with, you know, how you want to live your life. But it's when they want to really have conversations and be all intimate and, you know, talk to you about stuff it's like hey. yeah i'm just not i'm not too friendly with people at three in the morning because i really don't know what you might have just did or where you came from or it's three o'clock, it's, it's three o'clock in the morning like it's this is uh the unholy hours of the night like bars the bars have been closed you know, it's Ohio. They close at like 2.30. 1.30 at some places. Yeah, that too. But it's just... It's been rough, man. I, I'm not doing jobs like that anymore. Like... When I was about 10 till I was 11. And then my son lived down in, right outside of uh, Atlanta. He was in Lawrenceville in Duluth. Oh, okay. I know where that's at. And I went down there and visited him a couple years ago during the summer. So... Um, I like Georgia. It's nice. Georgia's and, beautiful. And it's a nice kind of hot. It's not overly bad. It's just... I remember when it did get bad one time, and I remember I took a shower, and I put baby powder on, I was all fresh and everything, got in the car, and by the time I got out the car and got into the Walmart door, I was just drenched. And I was like, this is bullshit. Like, I just wasted all that time. All that product. Yeah, all that product. I could have just showered again when I got home. I mean, I could have just showered one time at home. But I remember telling... I'm listening. No, no, I was, it is really... It can get really hot down there. But when it's just normal summer, it's not, like, scorching. I like that kind of a summer. Yeah. We get some of that in Ohio. Much, Lucky. Though. I never say it. We either get like mild or scorching ass heat. We've been getting some ugly ass fucking weather. This, this, and the, the worst part is it plays with our emotions. You get that seventy and hot, and you be like, oh, oh man, life is great. And then here comes the rain. 
and then you got a tornado warning. How close? Uh, it was it was like three four days ago. How close was it? Cause it tore up Shelby. Oh, uh, we didn't. We had a tornado warning, but I don't think it touched down. I think we just had a funnel cloud. I made the terrible mistake of driving to Detroit yesterday, um, and I didn't know it was gonna rain, and it was just the worst. Cause it's about two and a half hours for me to drive up there, and it really? was the worst Damn. drive. I was like, oh my god! It just was rain, and there was two accidents that slowed down, and it was really rainy, and people were being jerks. And it was the worst hey, I, ever. how'd you deal with that blizzard? <laughs> what, what blizzard? The most recent one, oh. the one that really came out of nowhere. Oh, that one was. I, I just stay in. Like if I hear snow's coming, I go out and buy like I don't know my cigarettes that I'm gonna need. You know, <laughs> I'm not leaving my house for two days. I got hit with, when was it? So I was at a fight, I was at a boxing match, and it was cool, weather was cool all day, because I was, it rained a little bit, but I was seeing family and everything, on the whole, it was Saturday, it was like Saturday, yeah. it was a Saturday, I went to a boxing match, came back on the way, got hit in a massive blizzard, an hour drive took me two and a half. I think you, po- I think I read posted something about that i remember that it, we didn't get as much snow as you guys got we got a couple inches less like it was oh we got that lake effect we got more rain than we did snow and it was but we still had to shovel out ohio always does that they gotta give you one last nasty little ugly snowstorm before they'll let you go and now we're just rain, Been rain that's what it's all about well, they used to be April showers bring May flowers. It's almost May. May showers bring June flowers. Okay, so <laughs> we still got to get into this topic. Oh, oh. How am I going to be? It's cool. We, we could chat. How am I going to be the best, best man? How are you going to be the best, best man? You got to do the very best. Have you watched any best man movies? No. Like rom-coms? No, God, no. So what's a good best man movie? Oh, Ooh, The Wood. I watched The Wood. Uh, what was that really popular one? That They had like three... It was like a trilogy. The Hangover? Yeah. <laughs> no. I only watched the first one. I, maybe I watched the second one. I don't think I did. I think the second one was Mike Tyson, I think. I think I did watch the second one, though, because I watched most anything that Mike Tyson was in. Just for the camera. Yeah. No. I, I see, know. I couldn't even pick which one of those people I would be. I, 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 I wouldn't want to be any one of them. No, I, I mean, if I had to, I'd go with the Three Wolf shirt, I guess. I mean, if you're going to do it, go weird. Who's the um? Who's the one with the beard? That's Zach uh, Galifianakis. Yeah, I would, if anything, I would rather be him, because he's a little more careful. But, if you're going to do it, be weird. But the other ones was, 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 the one dude was with the tranny, and then the... Who was Bradley Cooper? What was he doing? I can't. You know what? I really uh, liked uh, it wasn't a wedding, but a hot tub time machine. That's a good guy. I never finished that. Corvette finished it. I was, and my wife finished it. I was knocked out. Oh, I passed out. It is a very shocking movie when you watch it for the first time. I'm trying to think of like guy movies where guys get together. I remember he was. Oh, you don't want guys. See, that's why I'm asking a female because you don't want guys to get together and do stuff. Because results in something funny. Funny is cool, and a good story is cool, but the consequences don't be. That's true. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> consequences cost money and time. How can you be and, the best best man in Cancun? So you gotta do this remotely. You can't even I mean, plan it here in town or anything. You know, you gotta you, you gotta think about how you could do that in Cancun. The environment's gonna change. It's gonna be sand, palm trees pretty water you could do a boat adventure hmm. boat adventures are always cool I don't like we, water we're supposed to do like a, um, we could go to Chicago we're all gonna go out to Chicago and hang out with him for a little bit um, first week of June or something is that where he's at? Where he yeah he's in Chicago oh. Oh. so you gotta do this in Chicago then? that's just the best man that's just the um, bachelor party but oh we chill. God, we gonna so ch- Yeah, but we gonna chill. It ain't finna be nothing crazy. We just think about going to a rooftop. Like, we too old to the point where we even, we even like, want a drink. 
like company is just enough now. Okay. So you know what I mean? Right maybe, maybe get a nice hotel room. That's always nice. We, we thought about that. We're going to have other people with us, so we might end up having to drink, but I'm more of a sociable drinker now. It's just, okay. I'm just having one. Yeah, I'm just having one because you have one. Pretty much. I only drink if I like go to a bar. I have a hard time drinking at home just to have a drink. Unless I've been drinking. You know, like I went out and drank. I, I gotta have a beer when I get home. It's not fun for me anymore. I can't get in trouble and then go to my mama's house. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's consequences. There's fines. Fine. Yeah. License. Put you in jail. Lose your job. I know. Like, man, it can happen so fast. Bad choice. Come on. You know? <laughs> it happens so fast. So, like, I guess this is a warning to the listeners. Be careful. Don't make too many wrong decisions because, golly, like, one wrong mistake, one punch. I just think, like, one punch to the face. Like, if I hit one person in the face, all hell can break loose. That would completely, could completely ruin your life. Isn't that crazy? And I'd be one to punch some people in the face. No, like, well, you should just get Oh, gosh. Like <laughs> freebies like you should get five free if not punches in the face you should be allowed to just slap somebody <laughs> how about you how about some, you, you gotta pay for it. is there a monthly subscription i will pay a monthly subscription for the right to slap one person every month <laughs> can it be a triple a can it be a triple a membership <laughs> <laughs> will i get points <laughs> Can I use my slap this month? Can I use it next month? <laughs> you went over. You went over on your slap, so you have to pay an extra fifty nine ninety nine for another slap. Well, That's cool. Roll Charge over it. My slap from, from February. <laughs> I didn't use it. <laughs> I want to roll over. I want to work in that customer service department. <laughs> well, you slapped him twice. You went left, and then you went right. You. <laughs> Slapped him and then you back slapped him. I'm so sorry, an open slap. an open ham and a in a back back hand slap. It still counts, sir. <laughs> that, that was continuous. There was no interruption in my movement. That was not two separate <laughs> slaps. That was one continuous slap. And I don't see anything in the bylaws. <laughs> but I had to. I had to smack him twice. You don't understand. <laughs> I would love to be a court. <laughs> But that really doesn't help with how you're going to be the best, best man. Ugh. <laughs> oh, nah. Still want to slap some people. Dude, we should just write sketches. <laughs> <laughs> that, I always wanted to do a cartoon strip. Or a comic strip. <laughs> sketches would be fun, though. It would, so it had to be on the law books. <laughs> so, like, Congress would have to introduce this law into the books... And uh, <laughs> yeah, protesters out front. Keep your hands <laughs> off my face. <laughs> what are you doing? A whole, a whole 15 minutes on protest sides. I've been <laughs> the protesters. I've been a victim of slap abuse. I don't want to see anyone else go through that pain. I've been slapped. Here's the thing about the slapping law: is you can be slapped by. 20 different people on the same day. <laughs> Just because everybody gets one a month doesn't mean that everybody isn't going to use their slap on you on the same day. <laughs> Some people just get slapped all month long. <laughs> what about like college kids in a cl- in a, in a classroom? <laughs> Running scoreboard how long? This many days since I've been slapped. <laughs> just think, so you, you're in a college classroom and somebody acting up, or they do something to get everybody homework. And they're all like, you know what, I'm going to use this slap. I'm going to use this slap, too. I'm slapping this I don't care. I'm slapping them. <laughs> Lining up. I wonder if we could write a congresswoman, or man, who'd like to talk about introducing a slapping legislation. No, we can just try this out. Let's let the people vote on it, okay? Popular vote. <laughs> we ain't using the electoral college. <laughs> Shit go through like election. it probably go through like seventy something to thirty something. <laughs> people for and against slapping. The people who voted for don't realize that works both ways though. 
You might get slapped yourself. <laughs> like, that ain't a Trump joke. That's a, that's a Trump joke in there somewhere. <laughs> I voted for the slap law. How come I'm getting slapped? I'm getting slapped. I don't even understand. I only got one a month I can use. I'm getting slapped three or four times a day. I got slapped 27 times last month in a week. Should- I should have never voted for that slap block. <laughs> I thought I'd be doing all the slapping. <laughs> People were wearing shields. <laughs> Fake cheeks. <laughs> this hurts. Getting fat injections in their cheeks so it don't hurt so bad. <laughs> Can you just wear a bicycle helmet all day? <laughs> Ain't nobody slapping me. <laughs> We'd have to enact laws for that. Like, you get a double slap if they try and avoid it. <laughs> You're allowed to use a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> this, it makes me think of a video game, like, weapon upgraded. <laughs> I really want to play a slapping game now. <laughs> oh, that hurts. You gotta talk about serious stuff, because... We have been. We talked about all mm, serious stuff. My, my, my... Oh, gosh, that hurts. It hurts. My... <laughs> My throat hurts. I, this this slapping law is beautiful. <laughs> but it makes your throat hurt. Oh, yeah. I've been laughing too much. Yeah. I've been like laughing a lot. I'm just in pain. I'm trying to be serious so I don't laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you've been doing? You just hold your laughs, huh? No, I'm not trying to hold in my laugh. My cheeks hurt. My cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last time we were here laughing about quarter horses and shit, and today we we're talking about introducing. Yeah. Oh man, let me. I'm glad you're on the phone. So the drop your pocket joke, right? I've I've been I've been turning it up. So I've just been hitting everybody. I mean everybody. The kids at at class and stuff like that. Look, we wear martial arts uniforms, so we have no pockets. Yeah, they be looking down, looking for it. It's great. And uh, some of them are finally catching on, but the goal is, and I'm going to tell everybody how to do this, you have to distract their attention completely away and then hit them with the, you dropped your pocket. So I used to be like, hey, how you doing? And they'd be like, oh, good. Hey, you dropped your pocket. And they look straight down and uh, I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like to tap them on the other side of their shoulder so they look the wrong way. And then when they look at me, I go, you dropped your pocket. And they're just pissed <laughs> off about the first joke. So the second one catches them off guard, and they don't think about it, and they look down. So then they're, see, that's a pooper. <laughs> Got you twice, you dumbass. <laughs> you can tell me what kind of horse is on this quarter if you want to go for a triple. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, I'm just messing with you. Wait, can you tell me about this horse on this quarter? <laughs> <laughs> you know, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> you can't slap people, but you can with comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Straight slapstick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, slapstick. That's stupid. I love it. That's why they call it slapstick humor. Because <laughs> they wanted to slap you, but they just rather make jokes about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather just stupid you are. <laughs> you fell for it. Bill. <laughs> Janet, Karen. Oh, those are my two favorite names. To... Janet and Karen, yes. Those managers. Oh, yeah. Hey, Janet and Karen. I've never gotten along with a Janet or Karen ever. Do you have people that you don't get along with that, like. Based of... on their name? Yes. I have, like, four. I don't get along with Jennings. Oh, okay. Like, I know people are going to hear this. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, all right. I'll, I won't say the I won't say the name. I won't say the name, but yes. And this person's name, right? It's just one specific name. I'm not gonna ruin somebody's dignity as much as I want to. The one, the one dude, right? I was working with this guy, and everything was was cool at first, and then he just stopped like doing work. And I, I remember it was over some chicken tenders, and uh, I was doing something else. I was setting up this bar, and I was like, hey. Can you make some chicken tenders? And he's like, yeah, I'll get to it. And he just like leaned over. And I went and did something. I came back and like he didn't wasn't doing anything. He still was like chilling. I was like, hey, can you get those chicken tenders? He was like, I said I'll get to it. And the manager was there. And I was like, 
And she was like, stop yelling there because I'm a loud person. And she was like, why are you yelling? Um, I was like, I just asked him to, to drop, these, drop these chicken tenders and he's, you know, acting like he's not. He's like, I said, yeah, he, he was like, I said I'll get to it in a minute. And I was like, um, he's like, okay, now a minute's over. And he started going to go get it and I was walking away. And all I heard was, you better watch your mouth. Oh, see, those fighting words. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you just yeah. have to slap, motherfucker. <laughs> There's two people on this planet that can talk to me like that. Three. Three people on this planet that I will allow to talk to me like that. That's my mother, my father, and my wife. Right. That's it. That I will allow. Everybody else, you got, you just smack time. Like, I'm using my smack. <laughs> right. I'm using it for the... That's it. I like to use my smack. I wonder if you could apply for a, a an extension on advance on slabs. I'd like to I'd like to go ahead and use up the rest for the year right here, right now. I don't need to slap nobody else. Yeah, and, can, and can, I, can I use up my my husband's slaps? <laughs> he didn't use any of his. And then the other one, the other one's just real annoying, very annoying. Um, he's a homosexual. And he keep he sometimes he'll call me, um, hey girl, or what's up, miss. And uh, you know, I told him I said, look, please don't call me that. Number one, and, yeah, I pull him off to the side because I feel like private conversations are more important than me putting them on blast. Um, people get less; de- they're not as defensive, you know. Yeah, when you in their face. Right. So, because <laughs> a smack might be coming next. But I'm like, please don't call me that. And I was like, please don't call anyone else that. Because that's the same as, you know, you calling a derogatory term to somebody if they don't like it. And they can go up to HR on you. I told this dude just like that. And he's like, oh, you guys get so offensive, so offensive. I was like, all right. It works both ways, buddy boy. Right. So uh, next day he kept calling and calling and they went to HR on him. And uh, he got upset. But I think he understood after I told him, you know, don't call me that. But he's, he's, he's a, you know, a little wild dude, but he's also young. But that name, that name, it's just that name. I keep running into crazy people with that same name, so yes. You're like, yeah, I don't, there's like three different names. I'm like, I keep bumping into people and I never get along with you. I, there's a couple, you know, like, uh, I wouldn't say it's 100%. I'd say it's like 98%. Of, I don't get along with Jens or Jennies or... There's a million of them. Yeah, I know, but I always find like I never quite mesh with them. I'm trying to think what another one is because there's a couple of them, but Polly's. I don't get along with Polly's ever. Make, um, what about names you get along with? Who do I have like the most of one name? No, I just you. You don't even have to have them. Like just people you know. You'd be like, oh man, I like all of them people. I like. Uh, <laughs> um. I actually don't know. I never thought about it that in that direction. I just always, I'm like, I just keep track of people I don't get along with. <laughs> nah, man, because I got one of those names. Like my name is Aaron, right? And it's like the first high priest. And I don't know a lot of people with it with the name in the same way they spell it. But just throughout my life, I've had a couple people pull me off to the side and be like, you know, my grandson's name is Aaron and he's just like you and yada yada and I appreciate that I've just had good compliments on my name you know what my mom told me that she when she named us her kids she thought about people that she liked and knew and went to school with and so she didn't name us after but that's how she did was she named us after names that she had had good interactions with or whatever and she said it was weird because kind of had traits like those people you know and i thought that that was strange i was like how do people acclimate to their names so well I yeah what's in the name a i do get along with a's very well like i was just thinking because you have a double a i have a friend named erica and that's how she spells her name is a a r i k a erica <laughs> but I, I knew it a r r k a that sounds yeah erica yeah. That drives me nuts. How, but both my kids have names that start with A. So I, I think I just have a natural affinity for A names. I do. I actually, when I think about it, I'm like, I really can't think of any A names I don't get along with. But there's not a lot of them out there either. Like how Adams, many, how, Alex. How many times have you met an Abel? <laughs> what about Ashley's? 
Oh, Ashley's are neutral for me. You know, they're hit or miss. I, I they're everywhere. Had, yeah, and I've never had a, like a, a super great interaction with one or a super probably great fifteen one. Ashleys on this this uh, listen to this podcast <laughs> right now. Um, mine was with a double E at the end, so I'm different. Doesn't it drive you crazy how people spell their kids? Like they'll use the craziest phonetic spelling now. For I'm like that is you do not need twenty letters to spell Eric. It's like I love it. I you know I I I used to kind of be like man that's weird, but like my name weird. I got two A's, and when I actually like meet people like Jewish people or Egyptian people or Arab people. Like they they spell my name out, they write it in their language, and like this a this a big deal for us. Really, p- people fuck with Aaron. Like Aaron was the high priest. You know all the stories of Moses. Mm-hmm. Aaron is the one who brought the people. Right. He was the man. Like with the snakes, everybody knows about the snakes when he dropped the snakes. That was Aaron dropping the snakes. I didn't know Aaron was dropping the snakes. Aaron was dropping the snakes, man. He's like, man, that ain't shit, man. Because you know what. Moses was the one talking. The story is Moses was talking. He was like, yo, man, yada, yada, yada. Look what we could do. He's like, man, yo, bro, drop them snakes. Yeah. He dropped his cane, turned to a snake. They was like, oh, shit. And then the one was like, the Egyptian was like, that's nothing. And he told his magicians to drop some snakes. And uh, then the one snake ate all three of those snakes. Oh. It was a... Uh, it was a cartoon movie, but cartoon. Prince of, it was a Prince of Egypt. Oh yeah, that's yeah, we got. We all got to go back and watch those. You know, I never. Well, I watched it's it when fun. I was younger, and I didn't realize it was such a biblical story until I got older, and I was like, "Holy crap, that's really," because it doesn't come across. You know, it's just a story about two brothers. Right, so and the sister. Right away. Don't forget the sister. Don't forget the sister. I'm sorry, you're right. The sister, she was in there. She was holding it down too. She was. I'm sorry. It's like yo, it's okay. We got we got <laughs> Google now. That's that's a great thing. They fabricated it. they fabricated stories in that movie. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's not like it's a big deal. It's just the entertainment, but it's a dope story. I just know when people say my name. They'd be like, oh, I know Aaron, or I like him. I'm like, cool. I don't meet, meet too many other... I I meet, I've met... Oh, my gosh. Who? I have met uh, other Julies, but I don't meet very many Julias, because that's my legal name. Like, and I, But when I was younger, I went by Julie, and now I go by Julia. And uh, I've met, like, three other Julies. I don't think I've ever met another Julia... Um, I mean, they, it was, do you count birth certificate or just what people say? I guess just what people say, but I haven't met enough of them to be like, are you a Julia or a Julie? But I have asked. I'm like, are you a Julia or a Julie? And like, most people are just a Julie. You ever you ever think that pe- you may have changed or you or other people might have changed from Julie to Julia or back and forth because of other Julies or Julias. <laughs> I'm not meeting any others. I'm going to go ahead and switch. <laughs> that could be. I went because of uh, college. I was a Julie up until I went to college and then my legal name was Julia. So when they did the class role, you know, they'd call out Julia. And when you're in a class of like 50 people, you don't really want to be like, it's Julie. So... Then people started calling me Julia, and then it kind of melded together. So people call me both now. I think most people have that when they have that kind of a name, where you can be an Andy or an Andrew or a Bill or a William. You know, you, you answer to both, and they both sound the same. Nope, I'm stuck with Aaron. Aaron, just Aaron. What's your middle name, Aaron? Matthew. Oh, see? I can't give out the last. That's too much information. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even give out we don't either so that's fine yeah I, it's that's a, a mc variety hour we try to stay anonymous but i mean it wouldn't be that hard to figure out who we were you know? yeah, yeah it'd be that one time somebody <laughs> listening you're like yeah i was on pine street last night but I, we still like to have a little bit of deniability that wasn't me i never said that you cannot prove that was me i never said that i don't even know that man <laughs> 
That always mess with the volume levels and stuff too. Tweak your voices just a bit. That ain't me. Do it. Go ahead. Do a voice analysis on that. You'll see that dude's two octaves higher than me. Nope. <laughs> Can't be me. Why would that be me? Why would I even say that? I'm not like that. I'm a wholesome person. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see if we got any other topics. Oh, here's a fun topic. How much time are we at? We're probably at like three hours. No, we're at an uh, hour and a half. <laughs> One hour, 26 minutes. Okay, let's see. What are you going to do when family comes over? Oh, I already told you about this. I gotta have to, I'm gotta. i just going to saran wrap my furniture. I mean, I never should have took the plastic off it in the first place, but uh, I'm just going to take some saran wrap, wrap that couch right up. And then put like a blanket over it, and then burn the blanket after they're gone. <laughs> you really don't <laughs> want the essence in there. No, because you know. Burn what? some sage. You gonna burn sage? We just get. I'm gonna have to. We just got new carpet. You know, I just don't want people leaving their dander behind. It's gross. <laughs> I I understand. Your dander with you. You know, like vacuuming around them, and, like dumping it into a little. <laughs> <laughs> Second they turn around, you're using the hose on them, like. In here. <laughs> 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 around spritzing people with sanitizer and Febreze. I <laughs> 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 to use my slap for the month, but there's too many people, too many targets, too many triggers. <laughs> they just on there like, ooh, this couch, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're laying on it. <laughs> You're breaking it down. I'm not leaving a divot. Can't let anybody sit on it for a month so that it can loop back up. I fluffed that pillow three times today. Stop flattening my furniture. Pick up your dander. Switching out my my. Expensive shampoo for cheap shampoo. You gotta hide all the good stuff. Then you gotta get out everything that they've given you. You know, like you treasure it. <laughs> <laughs> the I fuck? Just, I love these coasters. <laughs> the Thomas Kincaid landscape paintings on them. Are <laughs> I, I use this every day while it has dust all over it. <laughs> on the plastic. <laughs> if you're an expert, you always rinse everything off or polish it. <laughs> I just, uh, uh, it's, it's, yeah. I just uh yeah I grew I'm listening. Yeah, I, I just I just uh never care for having it's just cramped and crowded and people are in your space and they want to talk to you. It feels like you know, just when I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go home. But when you have people over, you can't just go home. You're already home. <laughs> and there's people yeah. in the house. I know. Go and they always stuff. want something. Yes. Can I have some of this juice? No. No. <laughs> There's, here's a rule in my house. Nobody better not ever drink the last <laughs> glass of anything in my house. <laughs> if you get something, there must be, oh, there better always be at least one glass left of it. <laughs> I want to know why they are not making locks for these refrigerators. Right. Why did everybody get it? No. There's one kind that you can get, and it's a magnet. And it's just awful. I need a key to get into my. No, but the smartphones. You can just use a smartphone. Unlock it. Oh yeah, for the really nice fridges. Yeah, like a Samsung should be locking. I was, I just, I was at a nice house today. I was gonna say, but I don't know anything about this, dude. Oh my gosh, I was just very like so. Yeah, you can program the phone in with your refrigerator, but you can't lock that bitch. Like, you should be able to press a button where that bitch will magnetize and you can't open it. Uh, like a reinforcement, you know, like lock it down. Yeah. I don't know. Come, uh-huh. Coming over, lock the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, why can't I, I can't get none of your food. Exactly. Your smartphone, and you just pulling down the house <laughs> from your couch. <laughs> lock the fridge. <laughs> Locked in medicine cabinet. <laughs> I, I said <laughs> dinner's <laughs> over. <laughs> Just going through locking shit. It's possible though. You know what? That's something that you should invent. 
little app you can just that, that must be like the internet of things i thought that was still like they got it they got it i know they got it thing now. they got stuff like that that's out i want to be able to lock my fridge like you're out and about and your kids are at home you know and you're like don't be getting into that fridge teenagers you feel like oh i forgot to lick the lock the liquor cabinet before i left and you can just be at the store and like boop, boop, lock it right on their little butts like, let's see Boom, I'm looking at it right now. $159.99 keyless door locks. So you can you can you hook it up to your door and on your phone you can just hit the button and it'll open. Shut up. I'm looking at it right now. I will send you the link. See, I did not even know that that was a thing. I uh, I mean that you could, I heard about it but I didn't know that people actually owned those things. Welcome to 2019. And so you got to pay one hundred and fifty nine ninety nine for it, though. Did you use a toilet in the fancy house with a toilet fancy? With the bio bidet? No, I did not. I did not use the bathroom at all. That's a see. That's like one of my first go tos. I mean, I'll, if I'm gonna be there for more than an hour, I do have to like if it's a really nice house, I gotta find a way to get in the bathroom. I want. I don't know how I kept home on pee like that. Yeah, I uh, I, I gotta find out if there's any new technology. Do you hear, see those flat sinks? Groupon got one for, ooh, it got one for seventy three ninety nine. You really want those fridge locks, don't you? No, it's not the fridge. Just for the like the front door. Oh, okay. I was like, what? No, but for the fridge, the Samsung, the one I was looking at, like you can lock the controls so the kids that can't get water and ice like that every five seconds, what? you can lock all those down. Yeah, because they're going to mess with all the buttons. That's what kids do. But, um, it should be able to magnetize and lock that bitch. Let me see. Lock my refrigerator. From phone. This is what I need in my life. I don't, I don't care what nobody says. I need a fridge lock. Oh, they ain't got it. What? See? I had a great idea for a computer chair with a pet sidecar the other day. I keep coming up with all these great ideas, and I just... Magnetic refrigerator lock. Oh, I got one at Walmart for 10 bucks. It's, you can't use your phone, though. See? We need a smart magnetic lock. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they got refrigerator locks for 10 bucks. Can you imagine going to somebody's house and seeing a refrigerator lock? Like, man, have you had a problem with people taking sodas? I got, man, I got a big problem with people going in my refrigerator. And a couple people, a couple people told me that it was wrong for me to think like that. And I can't help it but say, no, I'm, I'm just right. I agree with you. If somebody got in a buy fridge, I'd be like, noted. What are, you, what are you doing? Why are you getting a buy fridge? I don't, I can't, you're supposed to, some people understand rules, like you're supposed to be offered a beverage or whatever, you know, you, you wait for somebody to, it doesn't matter how many times you've been to somebody's house, you let somebody offer you or you ask, bring your own. Yeah. I always bring my own beverage. If I go into somebody's house or if I'm out and about, I always, Sam always worried about being thirsty. So I'm like, I'm going to take this with me. I always have a bottle of water with me. I yeah. don't need to get in your fridge. I brought my own, and I'm gonna pick I, up my dander before I go. I just, <laughs> I just think about that like all the time. Like, it's, cause my wife was like, "Man, you, you shouldn't trip about stuff like that." And it's just like, no, nah, man, you shouldn't open somebody's refrigerator up. I guess that's just how I would act if I went over somebody's house. Now, if it's like my cousins or something like that i'm just doing that just to get on their nerves because i love them right yeah i grew up with my cousins pretty close so yeah you have to that's your sister yeah that's your sister or brother you know your mama's brother's sister's kids and court you got to okay all right I think we should wrap up. We had two hours. We, we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's late on a... What is it, a Friday? 
Saturday. Yeah. It was a Friday. Late on a Friday night. Aaron, I, I enjoyed you coming on the show. Happy 420. Happy tourist season. <gasps> you are correct, sir. Happy 420. Boop, boop. See, I had to drive all the way up to Detroit to get my celebration. It's a, uh, it's, um, it's tourist season now. Sure Everybody born now is a tourist. It is. And that's okay. Everybody's going to click. Well, no, they haven't. It's not recreational. It's not legal in Michigan yet, is it? I mean, they yeah. haven't set up for that. Or have they? I, I think they got time, but it's about to be. They don't give a fuck no more. Yeah, they're like, we don't really care. They really don't in Michigan either. I like Michigan. It's going to attract people. Well, Aaron, I really appreciate you making the time to come on the show and make jokes with me and have serious talk. I don't feel like we solved how you're going to be the best, best man. But I can't feel my cheeks anymore. <laughs> I can see you lifting off. You ready for some night nights? Yeah, some, for uh, sure. Apple dingleberries. Yeah, I'm gonna get those from the gas station tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, do you want our audience to know anything yet? Where you can find you? This gentleman is you- of uh, many talents, everybody. So you can find him about town here and there, but also online. <laughs> Um, so you can find me at ADAT Comedy. That's A D A T Comedy on Instagram. Also on Twitter. Um, you can follow Ironical Artistry on Facebook. That's A A R O N I C A L Artistry on Facebook. That's the company name. I'm getting ready to put out A A Ron in the A M. That's a morning show. You know, positivity. Of course, we're going to have you on. I you know, to talk to you. I, I did. I, darn it, I'm so mad because I did want to ask it's you okay. about that. I wanted you to make sure to promote that a little bit because I think that'll be a really neat. I think it's gonna be a really good idea. Yeah, I just want to spend like 15 minutes talking with people and um, just coming up with some good stuff. There is a little podcast that's called Politity, and it's P O L I T E A, and it's two girls. And every morning they just get together while they're like getting ready for work, and they talk for like 15 to 15 minutes to a half hour, and done. You know, and I, I just like it. It's just a real quick little boop. And they're just real easy to listen to. Yeah, I got that's another thing. I gotta be easy to listen to, but you know, I think I'm gonna record all types of all times of the day. I just want them to be morning type shows that people can pop on. At work or I see Yeah, that. wherever. I don't I don't you plan on recording morning every morning. O'clock at night. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I I don't give a shit. I probably record it at eleven o'clock at night. So what's just gonna be called? A A Ron. In the AM, and you can find it in the AM. I love it. You, you can find it on the Spreaker app. Um, I put up the intro, and uh, we're just gonna keep it rolling from there. If you want to be a guest, email us. Let us know. I think. That Thank you so much. All kinds of people wanting to be on your show. Dang it, you're gonna be popular. You know it. <laughs> I hope so. That's the goal. So. I just want to motivate people. I, I think you'll do great at it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Aaron. And you have a great Anytime. Night. Thanks for having me. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.